Hi guys! Welcome back to Toaster Kitchen. Today we are going to make John dishes, pan fried battered food. So most Korean homes make several types of John dishes for their holiday feast. Today we will make some basic vegetable Johns. It will be really easy, but you will love the taste. Like, let's give it a try. These are the ingredients we'll need for today. So the first of all, uh, Napa cabbage, king oyster mushrooms, and Korean baby zucchini oysters. So this is Korean pancake mix. It's actually better to use Korean pancake mix than um, this flour because it is seasoned and uh, typically includes um, flour and some other ingredients such as um, cornstarch, uh, rice flour, and some baking powder um, to make a uh, like crispy texture. Well, obviously it's seasoned, it's better. But if we, we, you don't have a Korean market nearby and you can't really find it, you can just use all-purpose flour and some eggs, chili flakes, vinegar, soy sauce, minced garlic, salt, and pepper. Then some water as well. And look at this. Do you want to know what's inside? This is a special, special ingredient for today. I wish you could smell this, but it has a really, really strong smell now. Okay, I'm going to open it for you. Do you know what this is? Can you imagine what this is? This is actually a um, fermented skate. Maybe you are not familiar with this fish. Well, you know, like, as you guys know already, Koreans love fermented, fermented food. The kimchi. Oh, like kimchi is fermented cabbage, right? Mm, this is fermented skate dish. Has really, really stinging smell. Some people actually compare it to a um, public toilet. But surprisingly, this fish is appreciated for its Venice and great taste. Well, we're gonna use this as well. Get excited. This is a box of slices skate fish. Probably costs about 500 bucks. Really expensive, right? Alright, that's it. Alright, so I'm going to transfer the Korean pancake mix to the big bowl. a lot of eggs. Alright, time to beat the eggs. I'm using this giant chopsticks. Okay, I'll start with uh, Napa cabbage. So, gachujan. Uh, this is, the shape is slightly curved. So I'll need to flat them. I'll just use the back of the knife and just slightly tap it. Now, these are flat. Got the Korean baby zucchini. King oyster mushrooms. Okay, I've got this big frying pan. So, it's time to actually make John dishes. Add plenty of oil in the pan. And wait until the, the pan is heated. I will start with the zucchini. Dunk the pieces in the mix. Make sure you coat the pieces well with the mix. And right into the eggs. Hobak John is definitely my favorite. Make sure the pieces are coated well with the eggs. These are the water parsley and 
actually. Everybody loves good looking dishes, right? You don't need to cook zucchinis on for a long time. Otherwise, they will be really squishy. Okay, I will just count to 1 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All done. Just gonna move it over. Looking good, right? King oyster mushrooms. Make sure this time also you coat the pieces well with the mix with the axe as well okay. well, they look nicely golden brown Next step is oysters. I know everybody loves oysters, right? You don't need to cook this for a long time. Just wait a bit. So good. Time. It's time guys. This has really really strong smell because it's been fermented for days and days. Okay, so I also make this into a chun. Put the pieces well with the egg. I'm going to dunk this in the pan. Okay, so for bechu, napa cabbage, we don't need to use beaten eggs. But instead of eggs, I need to add some water to the mix. So I've got a piece of napa cabbage here. Like this. This is so simple, the betchadon is surprisingly good. You'll be surprised if you actually taste it. Okay, everything is done. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Ah! It's time to make um, dipping sauce. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of vinegar, one teaspoon of minced garlic, sesame seeds, and chili flakes. Mix it well. Sounds more curly. Alright, everything is done. It's time to taste what I made. What I need now for a drink? Makoli. Ah. 
I'm not sure if you know about this, but in Korea, we have a tradition of having a specific dish uh, when it's raining. Uh, it is chan and makgeolli together. So the custom of having makgeolli and chan together in the rain came from uh, Korea's agriculture history. So when it rained, farmers couldn't work in the field. So they wondered how to spend their time. Well, they were not really rich back then. So some inexpensive snacks with, uh, with some homemade drink seemed like a perfect solution. But another tradition says that the raindrops sound very similar to the sound of chun grilling in the pan. Still in our gene, so this tradition has been passed down um, over generations. But well, obviously, it's in our gene. So whenever it rains, we always think of makgeolli and jeon together. Next time you visit Korea, please try jeon and makgeolli together. You love it. Cheers, guys. Thank you, jeon. I love the texture. Mm. It's still very crispy. Okay, so this is the most, most exciting, exciting part today. So I will try this Hongwajeon. Well, in Korea, there are tons of tons of John restaurants. But it's really hard to find Hongojan at just normal restaurants. So it's very rare to make Honga into John. This will be really interesting for you. So I'm gonna taste it. This is not for everyone. Like, not every Korean loves this dish because it has really, really like, unique smell. But it's worth a try. So please try this fish next time you visit Korea. It will be a really, really interesting experience for you. For sure. Hands down. Alright guys, next piece. Cheers. I love oysters. This is very, very authentic, very, very Korean, right? So whenever I have my um, international friends over to my house, I usually make this so that they could actually taste a little bit of Korea and that they absolutely love it. This is a great party food. So I really hope you guys enjoyed making John with me. Next time I'll be back with a better recipe, okay? Bye-bye.